Hi, this is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar entitled Animation and Keyframes in Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, I want to show you how we can keyframe a color shape mask to track an object moving across the frame. Let's pretend that what we want to do is we want to have his face stay full color. and We want everything else to go black and white. Now, what I really need to do is I need to have facial recognition, and I could use something like Beauty Box to be able to do that. But we want to just have sort of a generic effect so I can show you how this works. Well, let's select our clip here. Go up to the Video tab of the Inspector. Go to where it says Correction, and you see this option right here where we can add a shape mask. Now we've added a shape mask. That allows me to change it from a circle to a rounded rectangle. I could even make it like an oval. See this dot here? This allows me to rotate it and change the angle of that shape mask so the oval more closely matches his face. This controls feathering. Okay, so I now have this shape mask here. But what you may not know is that we can keyframe that. So just before he moves his head right there, I'm going to set a keyframe. Then as he moves his head, To there, I'm going to set another keyframe, change the position, change the size, change the angle, right about there. All right, and then see what happens. Now he starts to take a drink, so We'll just reposition here because I've already set one keyframe. It'll automatically set the other keyframe. As soon as you set one keyframe for the parameter, it automatically sets keyframes for the rest of the time you make changes to that. Hard to grab that dot when the oval's right on top of it. There we go. So now we've got that shape mask set. Click in here, and I want to say outside the mask, I want saturation to go to black and white. So notice now everything's black and white except his face, and we now have the shape mask tracking with his face. Is that not cool? There's lots of different places that we can use keyframes, and some of them may not be obvious. This has been an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar on animation and keyframes inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz store. And look for Webinar 105. Thanks. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for one low monthly price of only $19.99. More than 600 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers both Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions.